Welcome back to One Hour Limit Locked, where I race to complete some of RuneScape's most iconic challenges, whilst limited to just one hour of gameplay each day. In Season 1, we got ourselves a fire cape in 46 days, and in Season 2, we achieved Barrow's Gloves in just another 38. But now, in Season 3, it's time for our toughest challenge yet. The question is, how many days will it take us to complete our first ever raid on the account? We not only have to get ourselves geared and leveled up just to step inside a raid, we then have to complete it in under one hour, as logging out in the middle will end our run. I've no idea how long this is going to take me, but I can't wait to find out, so join me for the journey here in Season 3 of One Hour Limit Locked, as we become a Tomb Raider. Hello again everyone and welcome back, we are at the very top of our second week here in Season 3, Day 8, slash Day 92 overall, slash Hour 92. I have been trying over the past hour or so and two cups of coffee to mentally prepare myself to spend an hour one tick flicking. There's 58 Hunter coming in. I believe we're just one level away from the next tier of Birdhouse, which is nice because mahogany is expensive. Yeah, we can make use next level, which isn't bad at all. I just realised my settings are turned up really high because of screenshots for thumbnails. But yeah, the plan today is to try and get our slay task done. I don't know how many we've got to go. Of course, we've got to go do our herb runs first. But nothing crazy on the schedule today. Just more of that slay training. Ah, our last renars, and we are very low on seeds now. So we kind of need to get a decent haul today so that we can top up on them. We don't actually need a rake, so I'm not going to bring it because we never need it. Off we go. Hopefully not too many of them die today. Two dying yesterday really cut into our profits. No, I said I didn't need the rick! What is going on? You're kidding me. You are absolutely taking the piss. <laughs> oh my god, the one time it regrows! It's a good job we've got multiple teleports there. <laughs> I can't believe that just happened. The one time I don't bring the rake. Oh. Okay, note to self, always bring a rake. In fact, why don't we just put the rake away here, and then I know I never have to worry about it again, I don't have to bring it again either. I'm just gonna do them in order. Wait. Hang on, clean one's worth more a minute. Uh, dirty one's even. That's weird. Oh, first one dead. Followed all. That is a shame. Unfortunately, with such a high far- uh, such a low farming level, it's gonna happen. It takes so long to clear a herb patch, what the fuck's going on? To like, eight ticks. Is it based on level? Okay, five out of six patches today, so... Not terrible. Should be able to buy enough seeds for two days at least, and have a bit of pocket change left over. I am gonna get myself to the GE, but I don't have a wealth on me right now, so we'll reset the Ferox. Low on run energy anyway. We are close to 38 farming, but who actually gives a fuck? Oh no way, my herbs are already at 420. Let's go. I didn't even realise it was so close to that time, jeez. Now I have to think about that. 52 minutes plus now. I'll have like 10 minutes to roll, it's all good. It's all good, baby. Alright, preparing to one tick flick for all the time in the world. Oh, I wanted to go back to the G first though. Okay, well the Renards aren't selling right now. So I'm just going to leave them for a bit and come back. Hopefully, by the back end of the session, they've done, and if they haven't, then tough shit, innit? More than likely gonna zone out a bit here, as I kill demons, cause uh, I need to try and, like, stay focused and locked into my flicking. But yeah, I guess I'll, I'll see you at any milestones as we get through it. We are very close to a strength level. There is a strength level. 55. Very nice indeed. Wait, is that a rune full? Oh my god, is my ground items off? Oh fuck, I could have been missing anything. I thought it was just not showing cheap items. I turned a bunch of shit off yesterday when I was trying to get a good fucking thumbnail for the video, that's what it is. I hope I didn't miss anything else valuable. At least I noticed that there. I was just kind of zoned out and I was like, wait, wait that's a fucking rune full just sitting on the floor, why isn't that marked? We will. 
Mark the ashes though. There's 32 Slayer. 15 kills to the next level. Should probably get two, maybe three more levels out of this task. I think I am just going to report on this next tick down. I think it's probably worth it. Probably should have already, but I'm just going to wait till ticks past zero so I get the full length of the boost. Alright, we'll leave that on for the sick. Report both of these. Back on that one. 18 we just hit between our two hits. A 6 and a 12. Not bad at all. Whatever the hell combat level we are. I don't actually know. We are combat level 76 apparently. Which puts us pretty much at the start of the mid game I'd say. Of course we aren't aiming for the end game. But we will be doing the end game with mid game stats. Ooh, 20 we just hit. A 9 and an 11. I don't know what our actual max is, but... I mean, I just, I saw, I've seen 12 that are max hit splats, but then the other half will be like a low number. I don't know how it splits them, honestly, it confuses me. I think I just lost aggro, which means I've been here for like 10 minutes. So, after I kill this one, I'm just going to go up the vine. I'm pretty sure that resets it if I remember right from when I did this on my Iron Man Slayer tasks. Does it work? No, fuck. Okay, I'm just gonna go reset then. Top the prior back up. Right, here's a cheeky little tip. Don't really want to eat one of my current ones. I'm only missing 8 HP. What if we just pickpocket the guns on our way past? Oh, look at that. We've got a triangle sandwich or two. Six hit points apiece. Bada bing, bada boom. Took us no time at all. It's very hard to fail against that guy as well, unless you have a terrible, terrible thieving level. Ooh, my run energy. Kinda, kinda lacking. Good job we'd be stood still once we get down there. I would like to stand here, please. I don't know why that guy there is not aggroing me. Made a bad spot. Okay. There comes another Slayer level. 33. 16 kills to the next level. So yeah, we should definitely get at least two more levels out of this task. Which will put us within striking distance of Royal Trouble. If not quite there. This is actually a very long task though. I think I might try Vanaka for the next one. Just see how that feels. Because I don't really... If I get another task that's similar to this from Chaildar, I'm going to hate my life. Not because it's bad, but because it's bad content. Okay, we just hit an 11 and a 12. So I'm guessing 12-12 is the max hit. Maybe slightly higher when fully potted. Max it of 24 does not feel bad at all for our level. I think it's a large part due to the fire cape and the barrel's gloves and the fury. Got a lot of strength bonus. Well, we're halfway through our progress on the task today, which is kind of fitting because we've got 30 minutes exactly on the clock. Of course, some of that was a herb run, but that just means we should have like 10 minutes at the end of the day when we finish this still. Check out the next task, see what it is, maybe. Pretty sure we'll lose aggro soon. If we haven't already had to tell because they're not stood by me at the minute. No, oh, no, they're still on me. And there is 56 strength. We are swinging. Double 11 there, we max it, so we're barely potted anymore, so not bad to see. We still have a max at 22, even with our pots almost run out. Getting a bit low, I can't really risk flicking right now. I was going to stay here till my aggro ran out, but it seems to be lasting ages. Just going to leave our prey on for a minute or so. He's immediately just got back on me, hasn't he? There is 34 Slayer. 18 kills to the next one, so yeah, we've got one more level due this task. Which will bring us to 35. Excited to see what we get for the next task. Okay, I think I'm just going to kill this one and then go for a reset. Because I've wanted to for quite a while now, actually. Okay, I'm going to go to LMS. Yeah, I realised pretty much, like, when I came back here after the first reset. Shit, why am I wearing initiate armour? I don't need prayer bonus when I'm one tick flicking. I can take extra strength bonus. So for like the past 15 minutes I've just been sat there thinking about the fact that I'm wearing prayer gear while I'm on tick flicking. So yeah, wanted to make sure we got a little reset in there. And I am going to switch to the mixed hide top. We should only need one more dose each now. We've got 20 left to go. Uh... I'll take another one dose of each in case. 20 to go, 22 minutes. We should be A-OK -okay to finish this and I have a little bit of time left over for birdhouses and getting a new task. 
So far, the XP tracker is saying we're at about 67k an hour, though we've only gained 42k so far today. Still not bad though, you know, I've had days where I've gained half that amount and we're not done yet, so certainly getting there. 23k strength XP, 7k hit points, 5k slayer, all progress where we want it. Ooh, just hit a 1310. And I hit a 12 on the second hit that was a max hit. Okay, so our max hit right now, even though I haven't seen it, is 25. 13 plus 12. I've seen both halves of it independently. A 13 max hit splat on the first attack and 12 on the second. But I'm guessing that's only when we're fully potted and it now goes down to a 12-12. Max hit 25 in melee gear with this strength level. Am I crazy or are we absolutely slapping for our level? It's been a while since I had a low level account, so maybe I'm misjudging. I don't really have a clear memory. There's no fucking shot I'm doing earlier. Do you think this is chest locked? Or maybe the 13-12 came from the fact that we put the mixed hide top on as well for the extra strength bonus. It's actually crazy what this series makes me do. Like, there is a 0% chance that I would ever sit here and one tick flick greater demons for an hour because it was more efficient if I wasn't on a clock. Like, I would just take three hours to do the same task and be like, yeah, whatever. At least I didn't have to, like, do this all day. But, yeah. The things I do for one hour limit locked never cease to amaze me pushes me to my absolute limit sometimes. As simple as this video might look and as short as it might be, this is taxing. Which you can tell because every time I cut back, I've probably lost some hit points from fucking up. Because theoretically, if I'm doing this correctly, I should never be taking any damage whatsoever. But, I'm not doing it correctly. As I'm sure you can see right now, what the fuck is wrong with me? Tend to go! A minor panic. I did take a lot of hits there. Don't really want to flick. Should have brought more backup food. And I should have brought a dueling ring so I could get out of here again. I don't have anywhere to leave right now, really. I don't want to risk death with Scurry here. I'm not flicking. I, will, I started to flick because I was like, ah, if I die, I die, but I don't want to risk death with Scurry. I'm just going to do this till my prayer runs dry and then do another quick little reset. Alright, come Monastery. I think I'm just going to pickpocket a bunch of sandwiches to heal up. That'll take me a minute or two. Just want a few backup sandwiches before I head back. Oh, come on, man! I was saying earlier, oh, this guy's impossible to fail. Now I just keep failing. Okay, there we go. I'll do. We got seven demons to get. I am gonna repot as soon as this ticks down. Right. Second ancient shard. Don't really know why I'm picking them up to be honest, but who knows. There's 35 Slayer. Doesn't look like we're gonna get another strength level today. Well, not from these kills anyway. So unless we do some other combat at the start of the task or whatever. Here it is, our very last demon. Oh, it's been a long time. We had 111 of them to kill. We're finally about to finish here. I'm going to get myself over to the GE as soon as we finish and make sure we sell off the Renars and buy some seeds for tomorrow because I don't want to get to tomorrow and be like, ah, I don't have seeds, I need to buy some at the start of a session. So, even if we have to make a bit of loss on the price of these, I need to... I need to sell them. Okay, now we're looking a bit healthier, aren't we? 400k, but most of that's gonna go now. Do we have some insult demon heads that we can sell? Don't think we really picked up much of all else there, to be honest. Not a great deal on offer at the Greater Demons. Seed. Why did I just put seed in? <laughs> be more specific. <laughs> Jesus, 27k? I hope they're not. Oh my. That's too much. 27k is way too much. Ah, uh, I mean, that's too much. I think I'm just gonna have to leave those and put in another one at normal price and hope to God that they buy overnight because otherwise we'll be in a bit of a, a panic tomorrow. I mean, it is 4am, so I'm guessing it's just because of that. Like, no one's online buying and selling right now, so prices are weird. Just it makes me feel, like, uncomfortable. 
just there's a little bit of anxiety in the back of my head. It's like when you know you're getting low on weed and you haven't been to see your dealer and it's not picking up and you're like, ah, fuck man, like, what do I do? All right, Vanaka, what you got for us? 33 Anku. That is a very reasonable task, honestly. A very, very reasonable task. We can knock that out at Catacombs again very quickly. What are the requirements for Haunted Mine? Because we could get ourselves a salve on me. That could be nice. I mean, we have all the requirements for this. It's a pain of a quest, but it could be something to break up the journey a bit. Go get a salve amulet, and then... Like, it's a good thing for us to have access to in general. Uh, birdhouse run is ready, though, so I'm gonna go do it. It's probably not that bad with quest helper. I mean, the end fight's a bit of a pain, but... I'll definitely look into it between today and tomorrow. See how I feel about how long it might take. Because I feel like that could be a cool option to get ourselves to salve army. Increase our DPS further when we're on undead tasks. Does mean we wouldn't be using our amulet of fury, but it's better to have a... Although, no, 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 because no, it doesn't stack with the slayer helmet. And we're wearing the slayer or the black mask all the time at the minute. Okay, fuck on and by, never mind. Unless Sulfur and Agua are undead. Because then it would be our best in slot for killing them that we're planning to train on. They're spectral. I don't think that counts. How do you know if the salve works on them? I'll have to look into that properly another time. Let's just, I don't know, do a few minutes of Anku, I guess. Is there any point? Is there anything else we can do with a few minutes? Let's just go to miscellanea. Chop a tree. Collect our shit. Felt silly going all the way to Goron just to like, do two Ankus, waste a potion buff and then end up doing a birdhouse run at the start of tomorrow, so. Fingers crossed those for an ass bite. Doesn't look like the Sulfur Nagua are on the list of things affected by the Salvami. So, some spectral creatures are, but not all. And it's not on the list. I don't even know if we'll finish this, to be honest. One more chop. We might just get to claim. Okay. Just got the herbs collected. Gonna teleport back to the Grand Exchange. So that I am sat here at the start of tomorrow. If I desperately need to buy Renar seeds. But yeah, we got a bit of a bit of herbage to sell there. So a bit of more profit coming in at least. Let's just uh, price check the invent. Got about 200k right now. 215k maybe. To uh, to work with once we've sold up. So we do still have, of course, 430k worth in the GE in seeds. But... Assuming that they all buy overnight, we'll have about 200k left to our name with a fresh batch of herbs to come in, so maybe about 500k. Not not too bad. We're just sort of recovering from the hit that we took to buy the Slayer Mask, but the Black Mask is always there, you know, we'll sell it eventually. XP gain today, we did solid. We got 63k in the end, which is very, very decent indeed. 7k in Hunter, as per and just about 1-4 in farming. 33,000 strength XP, we are up to level 56 now. It is catching up to defense and about to take over. I think once I've got this to 60, I will get defense up to 60 so that I can wear dragon for the boots especially and then attack to 60 so I can wield dragon weaponry, but it's less important. I actually want to get my defense to 65 so that we can unlock piety through the knight's training grounds. So that's the biggest thing I'm feeling the lack of here. Oh, not piety, but chivalry, originally at least. Yeah, we got 8,000 Slayer XP as well, up to 35. Solid day progress. We don't have that long to go till we can do Royal Trouble. After the Anku task, we'll see what we get given. I'll probably do Vanaka again because it gave me a nice short task. So if he's going to give me a nice short task like that, then I prefer it for building up some points so I have a cancel available. Yeah, that is about it. I'm not going to waffle any longer. I'm going to wrap it up because it is seven minutes past four, so I need to go roll a spliff now. Hope you all have continued to enjoy. Make sure you hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. You know, only 26% of my viewers are subscribed. And I have 260 subscribers. So if all of you subscribed, I'd be at 1,000. Now, I don't think that's possible. I don't think we can make it to 1,000 subs. But you can prove me wrong. Or we can at least try. Let's see if we can get to 500 even. You know, 1,000 of you could be subscribed right now. Let's see if I can get 500 of you to. That's the goal. That's my internal mental goal. Yes. Likes, comments, subscribes, all of the things. Look after yourselves. Be lovely to one another. I'll see you on the next one.